in my appreciation of this beautiful and cute 0 0.96 OLED display, I am obligated to create this tutorial. Now, without further ado, let's get started. In this video, we will learn how to use this 0 0.96 OLED display and be able to run it the first time. We will modify the example source code and display the temperature and humidity sensor readings using the HT11 sensor. For this demonstration, we will need a 0 0.96 OLED display, a DHT11 sensor, an Arduino Uno microcontroller board, a breadboard, and of course, some jumper wires. First, let us learn the specification of this 0 0.96 OLED display. So this display is a 0 0.96 inch monochrome OLED display or organic light emitting diode. It has a resolution of 128 by 64 pixels. It measures 27.3 millimeter width, 27.8 millimeter height, and a thickness of 4.3 millimeter. It uses an I squared C as communication protocol for interfacing. We only need two wires for the communication and another two wires for the power supply. It means we only need a total of four wires to make it work. The operating voltage is from 3 volts to 5 volts. So it is easy to connect to other microcontrollers. The common variations of this OLED module, some are with different monochrome color. So I have here a blue color, while the others have white, some are yellow. There are also a variation of with different resolution. This one is 128 by 64, while the other is a little bit smaller which are 128 by 32 pixels. Another variation of this is a different use of communication protocol. This one use an I squared C, while the other is using a SPI or SPI. Another variation is different driver IC. So this one is using an SSD 1306, which is not here. And the other one is SSH1106. And another variation is some has additional reset pin. This one is only using four pins. The pins, the first pin is ground, second is BCC, pin number three is SCL, and the last is SDA. So I will connect it to the breadboard. Then I will use a jumper wire. So I will connect the pin one or ground to ground. So I will put it in the blue. So pin one is ground. Next is BCC. I will put it to BCC. By the way, I am using small jumper wires or jumper pins for breadboard. So connect the BCC to red. Next, I will put SCL and SDA. SDA will be connected to Arduino Uno A4, which is SDA pin, and SCL to A5. So, pin number 3, SCL, will be connected to 
pin A5, analog A5. And pin number 4, SDA, will be connected to analog A4. Then, I will connect the power. I will use 5 volts and a ground. Later on, we will use the DHT sensor. But for now, let us just connect our power. So, DC 5 volts and ground. Now, let us upload an example source code for us to try our OLED display. So, first, let me connect our Arduino Uno board to our computer. And as you can see, as of now, there is no display. So, let us go to my desktop. In order for us to be able to use the 0 0.96 OLED display, we need the following libraries. So, let us go to Arduino IDE. Open the Sketch menu. Go to Include Library. Then, Manage Libraries. Now, type here GFX. And, and you need to install this library. Adafruit GFX Library. So, I already installed this one. Another one is we need to install the Adafruit SSD1306 library. So, this one. Adafruit SSD1306. If you are not able to download using the library manager, I will leave the links in the description of this video. Next, we upload the example source code by going to Arduino IDE and click File, Examples, go to Examples, Add a fruit SSD1306. I will use this one. SSD1306 underscore 128 by 64 I2C. In here, we need to modify some. So we need to make sure that this is 128 by 64. And in here, in define OLED reset, I will put negative 1 because we don't have a reset pin here. Another one is here. Under the setup function, modify this because this is the I squared C address of this OLED. So commonly used is 0x3c but some others might be different. So in case you have a different or after you upload this source code and you are not able to see any display, you might need to use the I squared C scanner. After that, hit upload. Uploading, done uploading, and you got a display. So, it is a graphic display by Adaproot for testing our OLED display. Now, let's try something more useful. We will display a temperature and humidity using a DHT11 sensor, which is this one. So first, let me turn off the hour board. I will remove the power. So I will connect our DHT11. So the first pin, lower, is ground. The middle pin is data, and the other pin is BCC. I will plug it in our breadboard and connect it using these small jumper wires. So 
crown pin then another pin is BCC and the middle pin is for a uh, data then I will pl plug it back like that then I will connect it to A0 now we are here in my desktop again and I already prepared the source code we will use so let me briefly discuss the source code so here we load the libraries for the DHT sensor by including it this one is the same for the including inclusion for the libraries of the OLED this is the definition for our OLED display size we set the pin assignment for the DHT11. Here we define the DHT type, which is DHT11. Here we create the OLED display. And next we create the DHT object. Then we declare a global variable for the temperature and humidity. Here in the setup function, we initialize a serial interface next we initialize the DHT next we initialize the OLED and we clear the display and we set the color as white in the loop function we get first we get the sensor value by calling this get sensor value which basically gets the temperature readings and put it in the temperature variable and humidity readings and put it in the humidity global variable and we check if the return value is not a number then we send a sensor uh, DHC sensor field to our serial and after we get the value we display it in the OLED display by calling this update display so in the update display, first we clear the display by calling the OLED.clear display. Then to display the current temperature, I think first we need to upload this one so that we can show it to you. So let us just wait. Uploading. Okay, now we got a reading. So, in the update display, first we clear the display by calling the OLED.clear display. Then, to display the current temperature, first we set the text size to 1, which means this is 1, the temperature and the humidity font. Then, we call the, we set the cursor to 00, zero which is the top right and we print the temperature next set the text size to 2 which is more bigger times 2 of the temperature point and we set the cursor to uh, x 0 and 10 so it goes down and we print the temperature then we put some space then we set the text size again to 1. Then we enable, we call this uh, OLED.CP437 to true, which means to enable the code page 437, which is basically enabling the extended font or ex extended ASCII characters to true. Then we print the ASCII character 248, which is the degrees character then we set that the text size again to 2 to display the C so we can read now as of now is 30.00 degrees Celsius next to display the current humidity we set the text size again to 1 so it gets smaller again then we set the cursor to 0 and 35 and we print the word humidity 
then we we set again the, the text size to 2 to get it bigger we set the cursor to 0 and 45 and we display the humidity value which is as of now 60.00 and to print the percent we print the percent and lastly to update and show the display to our OLED display, we call the OLED that display function. Then we go back to the loop function and delay for some time. So that's it. Give me thumbs up if you like this video. Comment your question in the comment box. Be sure to subscribe to Tech to Tinker YouTube channel for more videos like this. You may also visit my blog at techtotinker.blogspot.com for more details. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!